Welcome back to today's video. I'll be solving this practice problem to enable us to understand the concept better. First thing first, you can see that the question says A is 0 0.05 moles per dm cube of H2SO4, which is an acid. B is sodium trioxocarbonate 4 solution, which is a base. If 37.5 cm cube of the acid was required to neutralize 25 cm cube of the trioxo uh, carbonate for solution, which act as the base. Now, basically, this value here is the end point of the acid, the end point of the titration. First thing first, we need some important formulas here. First, we need to know about the formula which says. C A B A over C B B B is equal to N A all over N B. This equation is very, very important. What is C A? It is simply concentration of acid. What is C B? Concentration of base. What is VA? Volume of acid. What is VB? Volume of base. What is NA and what is NB? NA and NB simply means number of moles of acid, which is NA, and this is number of moles of base when the reaction is balanced because we are going to balance the reaction now this equation is very very important when solving problems on titration now another equation that must be noted is calculation of this concentration concentration in moles per dm cube it must be noted that concentration in moles per dm cube is same as molarity because we have various concentration units. We have concentration in moles per kg of solvent. That is molarity. Okay, we have concentration in moles per kg of solvent. This is molarity. Lity, lity. They are different. For mol most per dm cube, basically they are talking about molarity. Now, you can see here they said calculate concentration of B in grams per dm cube. So how do you get concentration in grams per dm cube? First, you must know the concentration in moles per dm cube. And it is done by a formula which is concentration in moles per dm cube. Okay, concentration in moles per dm cube is equal to concentration in grams per dm cube all over molar mass this is the equation that is very important in solving concentration in grams per dm cube so you just make it subject of formula so this is very important concentration in moles per dm cube basically to get this is from this formula you get this is the titration formula basically Concentration of acid times volume of acid over concentration of base times volume of base is equal to number of moles of acid over number of moles of base. Now let's analyze this question. Okay, now let's quickly move over to the question. First, we must balance the equation. We already know it is between this compound, which is an acid, and it is H2SO4 reacting with sodium trioxocarbonate 4, which has a chemical equation to be Na2CO. Three, also called soda ash. Now let's balance the equation. So it becomes H2SO4 reacting with Na2CO3 plus. Okay, so that is that. So we get uh, Na2SO4 plus H2O, and we are liberating a gas which is CO2. So this is the equation of the reaction okay and the reaction is balanced so first what is the number of moles of acid one mole what is the number of moles of base one mole they are all balanced okay all balanced all balanced so basically 
So get your N, A, and N, B. We simply use this two value, one and one. They are all balanced. Now, let's quickly bring out the parameters we have to use to solve this question. Let's quickly bring out the parameters. Now, they said A is 0 0.05 moles per gm cube of H plus of What does this tell us? It tells us that this is the concentration of the acid. Remember, the SI for molarity is moles per gm cube. So basically, this is CA, concentration of acid, which is 0 0.05. 0 0.05 moles per dm cube and basically B is sodium trioxide carbonate 4 soluton if this of the acid so this is the end point of the acid so basically this is the volume of acid so BA becomes 37.5 cm cube BB 25 NA NB, 1, 1 more. So basically, what is not given is the concentration of the base. The concentration of the base is not given. So that's what they're asking us to get. So in the question, they said, calculate concentration of B in most per dm cube. So we quickly make concentration of B subject of formula. So it becomes, using this equation for CA, we simply put 0 0.05 times volume of acid, which is 37.5 over CB, which we're asked to get times the volume of base 25 is equal to 1 over 1. So what we have to do is to simply make the CB subject of formula. Making it subject, we get 0 0.05 times 37.5 times 1 all over 25 times 1. So what would be concentration of the base? It becomes 0 0.075 moles per dm cube. So this is the concentration in most per dm cube of B, which is the base, basically. So, the next question is to calculate for the concentration of B in grams per dm cube. Recall, to do that, you simply use this equation, this formula. So, we simply make this subject formula. So, concentration in grams per dm cube will not be equal to, we cross multiply here, become concentration in uh, moles per dm cube times the molar mass of the compound, which is B. So it's basically this. What the molar mass? They gave us the uh, atomic mass of each of the uh, elements. So for sodium, 23. So it becomes 23. We have two atoms times two plus carbon, 12 plus oxygen, 16 times three. When we hit our calculator, we get 106 grams per mole as the molar mass. So it becomes um, concentration of per dm cube is 0 0.075 times molar mass, which is 106. So concentration in grams per dm cube becomes 7.95 grams per dm cube. Okay, 7.95 grams per dm cube. So the next is to calculate the volume of carbon four that liberated at STP during the titration. So we are looking for the volume of carbon dioxide liberated at ST. Now to solve this problem, we can use either of these compounds to get the volume. So let's just say we are relating Na2CO3 with uh, carbon dioxide. So we'll bring them down. Na2CO3 because stoichiometry has to do with relationship. CO2. So how many moles initially in the balanced equation? One mole to give us how many moles of this? One mole. So what we have to do here is simply to uh, calculate the number of moles of Na2CO3 in this compound in a standard solution. Recall to do that, we already know the concentration of the base. And recall this formula that says number of moles is equal to concentration times volume. Okay, now in this context, the volume is in DMQ because it's a standard solution. So what will be number of moles? What is the concentration? 0 0.07 times the volume standard. 1 dm cube. So number of moles becomes 0 0.075 moles. Okay, so that would be the number of moles that was going to appear for the compound. Because we are looking for the volume at STP. So 0 0.075 to give us x mole of carbon dioxide. So basically, making x mole subject of CO2, it becomes 1 times 0. 0.075 over 1, which is basically 
x mole of CO2 becomes 0 0.075 moles of CO2. But the question is asking us to get volume, not mole. Recall. Number of moles at STP is volume over 22.4 dm cube. So they are asking us to get volume. So the volume density will still be in dm cube. So make it subject. So it's the number of moles times 22.4. So what will be number of moles given as calculated is um, 0 0.075 times 22.4. So volume becomes 1.68 dm cube. So you can see how problems on stoichiometry, basically on titration, are being tackled. Do well to subscribe to this channel and also share these videos with your friends. Okay? Thanks for watching.